All right, so here we are on my new Arch Anywhere installer. Let's go ahead and boot it up and see how fast we can install Arch. <clears throat> this is probably going to be the longest part of the video. Alright, so here we are on the installer, so we're going to go ahead and ping google.com. As you can see, crap. I don't have an internet connection at all. How the hell am I going to install Arch? IP adder. As we can see, when I run IP adder, I don't, I don't have any connection here. So that's pretty shitty. But we're going to go ahead and, and try to install Arch anyway. So we're going to type Arch installer and start it now. Okay, would you like to begin the install process? Yes. I'm just going to run through this pretty much as quickly as I can. Just don't mind me. I'm just moving my way through this very quickly just to see how fast we can install Arch Linux. Yes, let's begin the install. Okay, so now it's actually installing Arch Linux to the drive. Video is 1 minute and 30 seconds in. I'm also going to do a full desktop install here as well just to demonstrate that it's possible. I'm actually in... I'll, I'll explain this installer later on in a later video. This is just a quick video to show how this works. The part that actually takes the longest is the installing part here. The packages were downloaded instantly. Okay, OS Prover, uh, we don't need it. It's going to install Grub to the drive. And configure Grub. 64 bit architecture. Yep, yep, yep. Root password, sure, sure, sure. A new user, why not? user password, I can do that ok, sudo privilege, sure, DHCP, sure wireless tools and WPA subcount, why the hell not, even though I'm not using a connection uh, Xorg server yeah, let's go ahead and get Xorg server, why not, it would be nice to have a GUI when we boot up here Would I like to install a window manager? Sure. Uh, go with OpenBox. Common software? Why not open SSH, HTOP, Links, Screen Fetch, and Net Control? Let's go ahead and get it all. Why the hell not? Install process complete, reboot now, no. Sure, you can unmount. Two minutes and forty seconds. Okay, for the total install time, two minutes and forty seconds. Well, that's pretty quick considering I installed Xorg and a window manager, installed Grub, did a full Arch Linux install with Xorg in two minutes and forty seconds. Okay, so that's pretty impressive. Unfortunately, this is a VirtualBox install, and I have not added the guest editions to the ISO. So I'm going to have to go ahead and install guest editions first and then get booted up and show you guys that this works. So I'm going to pause the video, install guest editions, and I'll be right back. I figured I'd just at least show you guys the reboot so you can at least see that it works. We're just going to reset this machine. Okay, and then it's going to look like we're back in my installer, but we're just going to come over here and we're just going to scroll down to boot existing OS. Okay, so as you can see, here we go. We got our booting Arch system here. Alright, so I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and install uh, Guest Editions. Alright, so I just went ahead and installed VirtualBox Guest Editions really quick so Xorg doesn't crash. So now we're just in the fresh install that I just did, so we're just going to go ahead and do Start X. 
it automatically goes ahead and creates the dot x i n i t r c so we just do start x and then as you can see here we are in a fresh open box install um, so if we come over here we can pop up an x term here uh, run screen fetch so there you have it full Arch Linux install in what was it two minutes and 40 seconds alright I'll be developing this a lot more in the past in the next couple of weeks so expect to see the ISO release very soon I just have a couple of things I want to improve but basically the install I just did was completely from a custom repo on the ISO itself so I actually did that install with no internet connection whatsoever full Arch Linux install um, so yeah I'm gonna be releasing this ISO soon it, it's actually only 1.2 gigabytes for a dual ISO so it has a 64-bit and a 32-bit ISO built in dual with Xorg a bunch of window managers to choose from and other programs as well full base install base devel all in two separate local repos on each architecture so it effectively allows you to install arch anywhere which is the reason i named it arch linux anywhere because you can install it without an internet connection as i just demonstrated i pinged google in the beginning of the video got no response, I did not have an internet connection whatsoever and still installed a full Arch Linux install with Xorg, Openbox and all in under three minutes so yeah, I'll be expecting to see this ISO very very soon hope you guys enjoyed watching and keep an eye out for it